Isn't this here? Move closer. Okay. Move, move closer. So how excited! This is one of you're in one of my favorite categories of the festival, the John Cassavetes Award, yes. and you're nominated for the Transfiguration. Yes. How exciting is it for you and the the importance of the Cassavetes Award to be in this category? I mean, it's so great to be acknowledged and to be nominated, and you know, it's it's an amazing category because it's it's us little guys who are you know way beneath the budgets of a lot of the other movies that are being nominated and it's great to get that kind of you know acceptance from the larger community. Now what led you to the making of the Transfiguration and becoming filmmakers? Was John Cassavetes an influence on you? Uh, absolutely I mean uh, he's he's an enormous he was an enormous influence on me and seeing his films and seeing this kind of personal vision um, was very influential on me making a horror movie that actually has a very personal vision involved in it um, and in terms of it, this was my first film and uh, you know that was this was the this was the amount of money we could scrape up and um, pull together to make it uh, okay and you said something very important your first film scraping up money so how was that experience for you? Oh, it's, it's, it's always fun. No, we, we spent a long time um, trying to get money together, and we were really lucky finding you know someone in the end who believed in the film. But it was a, a hard journey to try to get that money and get someone to believe in, some, in someone who hasn't done it before. So it, it was great, though. We're very, we're, very, uh, we're very lucky to be here and uh, very happy to. So what was the learning curve like for the two of you in bringing this film to life to get it to this point of recognition and acknowledgement. Uh, big learning curve for me. It was my first film. I made a proof of concept short, uh, so that kind of took me through directing a movie the first time around, uh, making the proof of concept. We worked with a lot of the same crew on the proof of concept that we worked with on the feature, so it was kind of like doing it over again with them, so that, that part was fun. I mean, I was ready for the writing and the making and the editing. I wasn't ready for this, the selling of it, and... Uh, and like and talking to you and that that actually that is, that was the really that is really the hardest part. It, you know, I'm, I'm an introvert, so it's it's very terrifying. Um, and so that that this part has been a huge learning experience for me. But hopefully, I get to make another one and you know get to try it again. Uh -huh. And what about for you? Oh, it's that it's that diving in there and trying to make things on a low budget and figuring out how to keep everyone alive and going uh, during the shoot. And then just you know, it's 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 an amazingly fun process, but an amazingly exhaustive one um, but it's it's not my it's not my first film so I've, I've been doing this this for a while but it's pretty it was pretty fun it was pretty awesome doing it with him because we are a couple so it's a very so, fun experience to work uh, so was there a lot of hand holding here for this first time director <laughs> <laughs> I, we hand held each other. I think is where we try to be as supportive uh, as possible. If we're well, guys, in this tough world, guys, congratulations! Go in there, have fun. Yeah. This is like your first big party for the film. It is. It is. You get food and everything. 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 Alcohol, food, and everything. food. Yeah. Cool. Enjoy okay, and congratulations. Cool. Maybe I'll see you around later. Yes. You never know. That's right. All right. Cool.